There's a couple of reasons why you would consider joining a not-for-profit board. It's often the way many people get their uh, start in their board career and it's a wonderful way to give back to the community and, uh, you know, to be in a for-purpose uh, environment. Many people will look very favourably on people who have served on not-for-profit boards. These are often volunteer positions, although there can be some compensation associated with these roles. And it can include organisations that are beloved charities, organisations that are doing wonderful work in the community. It can also include industry membership style boards. So there's a wonderful opportunity here, I think, to give back and to develop good quality board experience. So in the early days, you would certainly uh, consider, you know, looking at that as a target for a stepping stone board seat where you could learn from other experienced board directors and at the same time uh, give back. Obviously, this sector really needs top, top, top quality talent to come and serve on the boards. And so it is a, a vital you know, combination between uh, organisations that need good quality board directors. Uh, and they will consider in quite a few instances aspiring board directors who are maybe looking for their first board seat. Um, not all not-for-profits are created equal, so it is important to understand firstly that the scale, the scope of the organisation. Often we find the very small not-for-profits, sub one million turnover, they can really struggle. And if their source of funding dries up, whether that be through government grants or through contributions, uh, suddenly the board can find themselves in a very precarious position. So I try and encourage my clients, my candidates to consider slightly more substantial not-for-profit organisations where they can make a contribution and also to really sort of, you know, improve their own reputation, their own standing. Uh, the last thing you want is to be on a, a board where you're constantly uh, looking at the, the balance sheet, constantly looking at the cash flow and very worried about about insolvency and that's a very real issue in a lot of these organizations many of them need to pivot many of them need to merge with each other and some of them just quite frankly need to close down but you know overall it's a wonderful sector I have personally recruited in the sector for over 20 years and I give my services in many instances on a pro bono basis because I know how important it is to bring talent to the table that can really help these organisations. And the sorts of briefs that we get from not-for-profits include marketers, digital marketers, people who understand fundraising, people who can contribute to the technology in the business, uh, people who have HR skills, HR qualifications. So they're often quite skill-based appointments, which again makes it ideal for an aspiring candidate who maybe doesn't have dozens of board experiences under their belt, but they've got specific skills that might be very uh, valuable to these organisations. So next time you're thinking about, uh, you know, looking at a board seat, consider the not-for-profit community and look at that space really carefully because I think you will find there's some wonderful opportunities and at the same time, do, do some good in the community, give back, volunteer, offer your services and at the same time, you're going to be enhancing your board career profile.